Hi YouTube, uh, Midwest Outdoorsman here with another knife review. Uh, this time, I usually do uh, a lot of hunting knives, but this is uh, more of an all-around knife. Uh, you could deem it as a tactical knife or whatever. It's kind of a knife, the jack of all trades. This is the Sog Seal Pup Elite. Um, let's take a look here. Very nice knife. It's got a uh, glass reinforced nylon handle, Zytel, I think they call it. Uh, it's got a black trinite coating on the blade here. Keeps it from rusting. Blade material is uh, OS 8 stainless steel. The blade length is 4.85 inches. Uh, blade width 0.185 inches. Overall length of 9.5 inches. Weight 5.4 ounces. Uh, Rockwell hardness 57 to 58 is what they say. Um, I've used this knife for hunting and stuff. I wouldn't say this that's its you know main purpose. Um, doesn't do great for that. I mean it's a knife. It'll work. You know it cuts you know hide and flesh. But uh, I'm not usually a big fan of these clip point blades for hunting. I like a blade with more belly, more sweep to it to do uh, skinning and stuff like that. Um, but it does work. Uh, and it's not really what the knife is made for anyways. It's kind of made more as a tactical knife and more as uh, an all-around, you know, knife. But it does work for hunting. I mean, I've used it. Um, you can get, I think, straight all the way back blades or um, mine is partially serrated. Then again, you know, it's more of a utility knife cutting wire or whatever. But, um, you know, even just using this portion of the straight blade here, uh, I've got a deer with it, you know, and cut deer up, and it works. Um, the OS 8 stainless is uh, a decent steel, holds a decent edge not super high grade or anything. The tempering they do on this seems to be pretty good. Uh, the Seal Pup Elite, I think, versus the, the regular Seal Pup, has got all these notches up here. Um, I don't know if they say that's for notching uh, sticks or whatever, for like a survival knife, or if you can try to use it as jimping. I suppose you could do both, you know. But um, I got the, uh, the Condora sheath here, which is decent for... Uh, a condor sheath. I'm usually a big fan of the uh, kydex or plastic types. Got a snap here and there's also velcro to hold it in place and there's a little bit of a plastic insert in there. You can see that. Kind of hard but just slips in there and holds it pretty securely even without the snap on there. Doesn't really click in but it's you know it's it's pretty secure. Has a pocket here where you can put a sharpening stone or a fire steel or whatever your heart's desire, lighter, whatever you want. So, you know, if you want a lightweight knife, more of a knife that'll do everything, um, as far as, you know, tactical or survival or whatever, it's not super um, thick. You could baton some wood with it and stuff. I mean, it'll work for that. Um, it's, you know, the blade on the back, if you see the black of the blade, see how they've got them humps on there. That's not really the greatest for batoning. But uh, it'll work. Um, I mean, it's not a survival knife as far as, you know, being like a heavy-duty survival blade. I usually like something if I'm going to baton wood and that kind of thing. I would usually rather take something big like a Ontario Spec Plus uh, uh, SP-8 or an SP-51 or a Cold Steel Trail Master. Something that's really big and beefy if I'm going to be doing that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, paired with usually like a small hunting knife for me is what I would like to take. But, you know size and weight considerations depending on what you're wanting to carry and what you want to do some nice finger grooves in here fits in your hand really well checkered grip it's not like a rubberized grip I know sometimes it's hard to tell from pictures if it's rubberized or if it's uh, you know like a harder material and this is a harder plastic material it's checkered almost like a G10 so it's pretty you know decent for your traction I kinda prefer the uh, the rubberized stuff but this stuff you know a lot of times will wear a little bit better depending on what it's made out of um, has a nice thumb ramp here and uh, you know it's a good all-around knife um, this is a great knife to throw in the truck or just to have with you in the woods or whatever if you wanna you know for whatever comes about you've got serrated blade your straight blade so you can pretty much deal with everything if you want to do a little notching or something you got this stuff here um, it'll work for pretty much anything tactical stuff you wanna put this on a vest or something it would be alright for that it's not super heavy 5.4 ounces um, the blade is relatively thick for uh, the size of the knife, for what it is. 
uh, it's a great option. So, um, but you know, for hunting, I wouldn't you know recommend you go out and buy this knife if you want a hunting knife. There's much much better knives out there that you know if you only want a knife for hunting, uh, I would say go with something like a Cold Seal Master Master Hunter, which is I think my personal favorite right now, or um, a budget options the Gerber Gator Drop Point or the uh, the swing blade um, that has that excellent uh, skinning blade on one side, uh, or um, any of the fall knives, you know, the F1, the S1, those kind of, if they fit your hand, they tend to be a little bit smaller in the handle. Um, I have got bigger hands, so that that's just a consideration for me. So there's a lot of other options I would say that are better if you're going to just want a hunting knife. But for an all-around knife, I mean, you know, this will do. You, know, you can skin an animal with it, and, and it'll do other tasks, too. If you want to carry one, you know, relatively lightweight knife that will handle all kinds of stuff, this will do it. Um, so, any questions or comments, you can leave them there, and I'll try to get back to you. Uh, as always, be respectful of everyone else. Uh, these are just my opinions and kind of my observations from using the knife. And um, so, hope you enjoy this. Thanks.